Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be discussing exactly how much did I spend boosting my G35. It's got a Vortex supercharger on it. And how much would it cost if you were to buy everything brand new. So we're going to do two total prices today. And at the end, I'm going to give you my honest opinion to tell you guys if it's worth it or not. But with that being said, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned because literally this week, this coming up week, this next weekend that's coming up, we're having our second tune date because when I tuned my Boosted G35, I had a major boost leak. I, I forgot to disconnect the hose. How, how does that happen? For the next few clips, I do want to show you guys a live in-person sound clip of just how the G35 sounds, me driving to the location. So just a moment of silence and let's just listen to the car. Let's enjoy that peaceful sound. Sorry. All right, guys, so this is my 2005 Infiniti G35 six-speed. It's got a V3 Vortex supercharger kit on. And today we're going to be discussing exactly how much it costs to install this in my car and uh, exactly all the costs associated with this to see if you guys want to take that route for some reason or you guys are just curious. Also, another disclaimer, I'm also going to add to the price. When you're installing a supercharger kit, obviously you want the most power out of it. So I am going to be including the, the price of my test pipes, my whole exhaust, because you do want to open up that airflow. So I'm going to go ahead and include that as well. Very end of the video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how much it would cost if you were to buy it all brand new. All right, so let's start off with the supercharger kit itself, the most obvious one right here. I went ahead and picked this V3 Vortec supercharger from none other than Static Martin over at Static Garage. He installed this on his G35, but he decided to go a different route. As you guys already know, he will be putting an LS motor in his G35, so congratulations to him, and that's freaking insane. He also had the blessing to, you know, hand this supercharger over to me, so I really appreciate it. He gave me a really, really good price, and that price is 6,000. Now, before you guys say 6,000, bro, it costs 6,000 brand new. It does. But he didn't include just a supercharger. He added a lot, a lot of stuff. So in that $6,000 price tag, he included the blower itself, all the piping, obviously, the inner cooler. He also went ahead and included this Mishimoto oil cooler. This is a $500 price value, okay? He went ahead and included in that price, he went ahead and included the smaller pulley. This is also an additional cost. I think it's about $100 extra. He included that. He also went ahead and included, you can see all the way down below. Yeah, you guys see that blow off valve, that race flow? That's $350 included in the price. This blow off valve sounds insane. It makes the makes the whole system sound so much louder. It's, it's pretty sick. Also, he went ahead and added the Kinetics manifold here with the G35. You guys know these, if you are NA, if you're NA, if you're just bolt-on tuned NA, I uh, hear these are not the best. You don't want to, because these are $800, guys. Is it worth it? Probably not if you're NA. But I heard a lot of good things about this being used on boosted applications like myself. So I went. he went ahead and included that as well in the price tag. So this is a $800 value here. Also, he does, he did include it. I don't know if you guys can see here in the back, but he did add the upgraded math sensor right here. So this is a up rev upgraded math sensor. Also, more goodies that he included in that six thousand dollar price tag is this boost gauge okay this am boost gauge is around two hundred dollar value he included this air fuel ratio gauge this is another 200 something a dollar value he also included an oil pressure gauge this is another around 200 dollar price value so he included all these three gauges ready to go all in the price as well and in addition you guys can't really i can't really show you i mean i can kind of show you there you guys can see my fuel pump and my soccer shoes sorry for that there's my fuel pump. He also included the three, I mean the 485 E85 compatible fuel pump. And not only did he give me the fuel pump, he gave me the whole entire fuel pump assembly already assembled. So he saved me some time, some work. So I really do appreciate it. So I believe that covers the entire, all the goodies that I was able to receive from Static Martin for that $6,000 value. Um, it included a lot of stuff. It was a great deal to me. And it was from Static Martin himself. So I was like, why not? Let's go ahead. 
So I pulled the trigger and I was able to get that from him. Now let's move on to the exhaust. But starting off from the back here, we have 1320 performance test pipes. That was uh, around $150. Then we move on to our Z1 white pipe that I bought in combination with the Z1 single exit. They have a dual combo in the Z1 Motorsports website. You can buy the Z1 white pipe along with the Z1 single exit all for $800. So that's exactly what I did. I got both of them for $800. Oh, I almost forgot. He also included a 1200cc injectors i completely forgot about that now i'm pretty sure that concludes the majority of it i mean that's everything the manifold the supercharger kit the smaller pulley the gauges the fuel pump the spark plugs oh that's right the spark plugs so now that we have everything installed in the car obviously we need to go ahead and get a tune on the boosted g35 because it's not going to run right just by installing the kit this time we wanted to make sure since it's boosted we want to make sure it's a dyno tune so it's in person they have better control of the car so we went ahead and went with none other themselves admin tuning they come here to the bay every month or every other month or so so he was able to come down uh for the month of july and i was able to make a booking and i took my g35 to get tuned with admin tuning now that price was eleven hundred dollars for the tune itself and it was 250 dollars to use the dyno so all in all it was one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars to tune the g35 with the vortex supercharger now let's go ahead and discuss the final price of everything so everything for i got it for the six thousand dollar value kit for the supercharger kit and everything that included plus the exhaust the tune and everything it all i also included sixty dollars for oil and the oil thing you know just i mean that's what i spent so i also had to buy uh what's it called coolant which was around like 25 bucks so i guess you can include that there but everything all in all included total price to supercharge the g35 comes out to eight thousand three hundred and sixty seven dollars now wait till the end of this video i'm gonna let you know if it's worth it or not or what are my thoughts on that now if you thought that was a lot let's go ahead and let me show you exactly how much it would cost if you were to buy everything brand new starting off with the supercharger for ticket i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little more savings you can go on z1 motorsports and buy the complete supercharger kit vortex supercharger kit from z1 it includes spark plugs it includes injectors it includes a v3 supercharger kit it includes a smaller pulley it includes a lot of the stuff and that goes for a seven thousand dollar price tag brand new don't forget you still have to pay tax and shipping okay uh but that's seven thousand dollars brand new uh retail then you can go ahead, the injectors, they come in that kit. You, the Kinetics Manifold, that's an $800 price tag. The Oil Cooler, that's a $500 price tag. Spark Plugs, they're included in that Supercharger kit that I told you from Z1, so I'm going to say free. Fuel Pump, $135 for the Wall Borrow. Uh, smaller Pulley comes included in that kit. AEM Boost Gauge, the gauge is over there, that's $205 value. The Oil Pressure Gauge, that's a $232 value. The uh, air fuel ratio gauge the afr gauge is a 188 dollar price value okay and that max flow race blow off valve that i show you guys under there that makes this thing sound like insane um that's a 350 dollar value all in all including tax and shipping and everything could expect to pay around twelve thousand and six hundred one dollars to supercharge g35 now that is a pretty steep ass number so all in all we just end up saving around i would say four thousand dollars which is a lot four thousand dollars is how much it costs to buy my miata and some extra change so before i say if it was worth it or not let me explain to you guys my motive so you guys know i've been modifying this g35 for the longest i wanted to continue the build you guys know you modify your cars you make it look cool you make it look this and that and the cherry on top is to add boost i've always seen it that way and so the boost was like the final ending of the g35 i solely did it because i wanted to complete the build i wanted like a complete car that looks pretty nice and i wanted to give you guys that satisfaction as well and i wanted to see it myself so i went ahead and and proceeded with that route but if i didn't have social media i didn't have nothing it was just me enjoying cars and whatnot what i boost the g35 I probably wouldn't have it would probably be around 380 wheel horsepower and between and 420 wheels horsepower so we're going to be in between that area and don't get me wrong that's a pretty fast car like it's going to be a super super fun car like those are good numbers and you'll have so much fun with that but at the same time you could get that power from like a different car for for cheaper 
or you could get it for the same price and get even more power if that makes sense. But if you're willing to build the engine and money is no problem and you really want to have a Booster G35, go for it, man. It sounds insane. It's freaking sick. Go ahead and boost it, build up the engine, buy a turbo kit for it. I'd rather you buy a turbo kit because you can get a lot more power from it rather than from a supercharger. But I mean, a supercharger does sound pretty nice, man. It sounds pretty nice. But yeah, that's just the route I took. I wanted to complete the build. I went with the supercharger instead of a turbo because on their stock engine, on their stock internals, a uh, supercharger is more reliable than a turbo because turbo tends to give you a lot more torque and that's what ends up kind of messing up your internals plus i'm not out here racing everybody and going insane in the streets it's just my daily it's it's still my daily but yeah guys let me know down in the comments section below how insane was that price for the boosted g35 twelve thousand dollars retail brand new and I spent around $8,400. Good amount of savings, at least on my end. But uh, but yeah, man, it's a steep number either way. $8,000 is no, no chump chain. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Like I said, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, this coming up weekend, we have our second tune date to see our true real numbers here for the Booster G35. And hopefully the engine freaking holds up. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys next video. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate all your support and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace.